Hi guys, it's me, Prophetess Tammy Sofalouea from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I have my glasses on because we're going to talk about something that it may be controversy or people may say, oh, she's racist, but I'm not racist. I'm going to tell you the God honest truth from experience. I'm going to tell you the God honest truth that everybody needs to know about fighting. Amen. Everybody want to fight, but you better know who you fighting and you better know that everybody don't fight the same way. So you best to listen up at me on what I'm telling you. Okay. Put my glasses on. I'm GQ. Okay. I promise I come back from the camera like I said because I'm getting a little chubby in the face, but that's okay. God is good all the time. All times, God is good. But this is Tammy Suffolk Away. Prophet is Tammy Suffolk Away from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I'm taking the sheds off to tell you something. You best to watch how you fight and you better watch who you fight. And know this, I'm not a racist at all. I love people. I love people who love me. Amen. The ones that's racist, you don't like me and I don't like you and you're going to hell. Amen. Amen. But I am not racist. I take each person individual. If you treat me good, I treat you good. If you don't treat me good, I treat you good. I stay away from you. Okay. Um, but let me tell you about before you go to a wall, my mama always say, don't go to a wall with no butter knife or don't go, go to a, 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 a shootout with a butter knife. Amen. And some of us are going to a shootout with a butter knife. Let me tell you, people do not fight the same. Colors do not fight the same. And I'm going to be a little, if you want to call me racist, fine. Put my shades on. Hold on. As I said, everybody don't fight the same. You better know who you fight. You better know how they fight. Black men don't fight like white men. Let me tell you why. Black men try to kill the flesh. Black men try to hurt the flesh. The white man's going to hurt your pocketbook, your wallet, your finance, and take your life. Amen? That's what the white man going to do. He going to try to hurt your finance, and he going to try to take your life. If you go look to, to your prison, you'll see how many black people is in jail. Put my glasses back on. Black man's kill the flesh. White men kill your pocketbook, your bank account, your finances. They try to, you know, it's like if you have an aunt or aunt mouth. I forgot they had to tell me what this aunt mouth thing. You got an aunt mouth. And I think if the queen or the king dies, that means the whole mouth dies, right? So when a white man ain't going to come after your flesh, your flesh don't mean none of them. They gonna come at your finance. They gonna come at your job. You, you hear me? They gonna come at that because they know if they kill that, they not gonna only kill you, but they gonna kill you. Can't feed your family. You can't. You can't do nothing right. So not only you gonna, uh, they gonna get you. They gonna bring you down. But everything that's attached to you, they gonna bring it down because if you can't feed your family, they ain't gonna eat. Right? They ain't gonna worry about trying to shoot you, trying to hurt you. You ain't nobody to them. But a black man is foolish. They fight don't make no sense. They fight each other. They kill each other. They shoot each other. That's not how a white man fight. Put my glasses back on. What do you call me racist? You best to be careful how you fight a white man. You best to be very careful. And also, they have white folks too that will shoot your flesh, but they're not going to do it themselves. You see, they're outsmarter than us. They'll get somebody, knock you off, hit you off, and their hands still be clean. But let's go back to the perp. Again, put my glasses on before they call me racist. But I'm telling you the truth. Okay? I'm telling you the truth. If, to me, and me and my daughter like this the truth, when I'm going shopping, right? I find myself, I don't want to be with a bunch of black folks, color folks, because we got much, we got too much flavor. We got too much juice. We got too much action. We ready to fight somebody. We ready to shoot somebody. We ready to kill somebody. You step on my shoes, you're in the club. I don't go to clubs. Step on my shoes, you want to fight. We go in the store. What you looking at? I mean, we always after somebody, we want to hurt somebody's flesh. 
You see what I'm saying? So I don't like being around there because I'm going from the store in the hood with all these black folks, girl, I ain't white, but all these black folks and them with all these attitudes, attitudes, and um, they like gumbo. I mean, we like gumbo. We got so much flavor, y'all. You think we dark, but we got flavor, baby. We got flavor. Without us, it wouldn't be nothing. Amen? But anyway, we have too much flavor. So when I go shopping, I like to go shopping where it's not just my and black folks. I like being mixed with some of those white folks, too, and other kinds. I love everybody. But if you don't love me, I will love you. But I still love you, but I don't love you. But I love you because God said love you. But anyway, that's not my perm. Be careful, guys. Half of our black men are in jail right now. Amen? That's what the system is on. That's, what, that's, that's the whole plan. Put my glasses on. But anyway, the fight. Be very careful. For instance, I didn't experience this myself. Even though I like to dilute myself having white and black and be in the midst of because, you know, with the whites you have more education because they want what's best for their people. So a black, you just getting the leftovers. I'm just telling you how it is. So all my days, my thing is like, okay, I'm finna mix along with them and uh because I want some too. I want some of the goodies. And that's the way, wherever the treasures is, that's the way I want to be. I'm going, I'm, hey, how you doing? I can do that too. Yeah. But this is the thing. You got to be careful. Because wolves, sheep are disguised. No, wolves are disguised in sheep clothing. Amen. See my disguise? Wolves are disguised in sheep clothing. And they disguise themselves as a sheep to get whatever they can get from you. Because, man, we are rich. We might not be rich monetary, but we are rich. Y'all, we are smart. We are wise. We are rich. This world couldn't even do without a black person. I'm But a black person, we got flavor. Amen. We got the flavor. They need us. But have you noticed when you stop producing and you don't have a use for them? Or if they feel threatened, they just want to fight you. But they don't fight like black people fight. I'm not even racist. They don't fight like that. We fight, we fight with fences. We fight with guns. Right? But when they got some for you, they fight with the law. They fight, they go try to get your money. They try to stop your money. They try to stop you from eating. They try to stop your family from eating. That's their main thing uh, to fight you is to destroy your mount. They ain't going to be going at one to see trying to kill one to hit. They going at that king or that queen who control that ant mount. And they know once they kill that source, everything else going to die because they can't eat. White man go for your pocketbook. And when he no longer can get anything out of your pocketbook, if he sees it's not where he get, can't get it out your pocketbook, that's when he going to lock you up in jail. We always have a law for a nigga. I preach love and I preach the truth. As long as you doing something for them, are you benefiting them? Are they prospering from you? But when they feel like you're going to take that away from them, that's when they're going to go to war with you. And they're going to try to take you out. They're going to try to rob you, take all your money from you, make you not eat. And when that don't fail, oh, they're going to put you in jail and lock you up. They got a law for you. You breathe, they got a law for you. You committed a crime. They have a law for everything that a black man could do to lock them up and put them in jail. It's a law for you. It's a law for you. It's a law that you broke. That's the way they get rid of you. But we too busy getting rid of each other to face the fact they laughing at you fools. 
Now, right now, I know about this stuff firsthand. I can't go get, get too deep with it. Put my shades on. I had one white man. Excuse me. I'm not racist. I'm just letting you know how it is. He tried to take my life. But not my life in the physical. But he tried to take my life like he take all the other black men lives and put him in jail for a long, long time. But you see, God is a God <laughs> with power. And God is the God of the righteous. And even though I had fear because my life was on the line and was going to be taken away from me for no reason, just for them to get ahead, a white man love getting ahead. But all white people are not the same. Treat everybody individually. But I'm just telling you about this one case of mine. He tried to take my life. He tried to steal me from my children. And I did no crime. One threw me on a wall and called me black niggas. Excuse my language, but I'm finna say he called me a black nigga. You black bitch. Slammed me against the wall. Frisked me. Searched me. Man searching a woman. I was some black niggas. And we talking about with the hard down criminal law system, the people themselves. You don't see this. <laughs> Put them shades back on. Their job is to kill us. And lock us up in jail. But back to this. We're talking about the fight. That black men and white men don't fight alike. Okay. We're saying that the black men. They won't use guns. And kill a brother. They don't even kill a white man. They kill the brothers. From their old mothers. But a white man. He gonna rob you. He gonna make sure you don't eat. He gonna make sure when your family don't eat. He gonna blackball you. Make sure you don't work nowhere. And then the most of all. He gonna put you in jail. Where all the black men is already. For laws they been cooked up. But anyway. You best know. That the white man and the black man don't fight. The same. Like this case here. I'm a bear bondsman. I've been with this company for 15 years. Under this company for 15 years. It was all good when I was bringing them in money. It was all good when I was feeding them millions of dollars. Of thousands, close to millions of dollars a year. Just for pimping me. Me going out there hustling the bonds. My clients. And when I write a bond, then I have to send him money. That was all good. He was my friend, good and dandy. But when things started getting slow for me. He started getting slow for me. Amen? As long as I was feeding him, feeding him good, everything was dandy. Oh, he was my best friend. Oh, if you need something, come. If you need something, come. If you need something, I'm right here for you. But when I stopped feeding him, I used to get flowers in the mail for, for my birthday. I used to get flowers for Christmas. Because not that he cared about me, he was feeding me because I was making him rich. He was pimping me. So once my business got a little slow, and I got a little slow, he got a little slow. Amen? He got a little slow, and then he felt like I wasn't feeding him. Amen? I know. So that's when he turns on you. A pit bull. They're nothing but a pit bull. He turns on you, and he bites you. And you how in the hell? We've been together this long, and you just turn on me and bite me like that. Amen. That's the difference between white and black. Amen. You don't feed him. You don't feed him. Don't feed him fast. Don't feed him out. He won't be fed. He gonna bite you. 
And he's going to turn against you like he never knew you. Amen? I'll put the last song again. But anyway, this is the case. So, I got a little slow. You know, business get a little slow. He got a little slow. He ain't what all he's supposed to be. I ain't what all I'm supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? So now you won't. You biting at me. You biting at me. You complaining and you biting at me. Oh, wait, hold up. Why is this man biting at me? Okay. So since you see I'm not producing what I used to produce as your pimp, Bear Bonding, you got power, right? You got power. I'm under your power, right? But God got the ultimate power. Amen. So, you have my property. Amen. So, you mad now. You mad because you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, right? We ain't doing what we're supposed to do, so we both on the same boat. Amen. So, I see, well, this boat rocking a little too much. When your boat start rocking too much and you see your boat is rocking too much, you try to make sure you have you another boat to save yourself. See, the white man don't want you to save yourself. And I'm not being discriminated. I'm just letting you know. The white man don't want you to save yourself. Amen? If you ain't producing for him, he don't want you to produce for nobody else. He don't want to give nobody else a share, no income with him. He want it all. When I say he want it all, he wants it all. And if you find out that Oh, you might be going on this way and you sharing this with somebody else. Oh, oh, he got mad. Mm. So we have a relationship here. Why? Let me show you greed. We have a relationship here, right? We got our little business right here, right? What you got to do with me having business with somebody else? Because you got business with this person, that person, and another person. You you all sold up. In case one thing fall, you got you something else. But then if I have something fall, you don't want me to have no fall back. You want my fall back to be you. So once you find out, oh, she got a fall back too. Oh, she got to get out of here because she got a fall back. And, I mean, uh, uh, she ain't just slaving for me. Now she doing somebody else. So, oh, or, uh, uh. But now you go out with stuff that belong to me. Right? You got over seventy, eighty thousand dollars on my bill of sum. I mean, every time I write a bond, I have to take that money and put it on the side in case I have a bond forfeiture. Right? So you mad at me because I got me a little boat in case you turn over there, right? So now you done canceled. A white man pulls strings with the next white man. So you going to go cancel my contract without even telling me. You going to go call them and tell them, I'm going in the mail. I give me a letter. Open up my letter. Your contract is canceled. What? I call the phone, don't ask the phone. I call the phone, don't ask the phone. Don't call the phone, don't ask the phone. He said my number, black my number. You see, white don't fight like black fight. He ain't come shoot me. He trying to kill me at the mouth. He trying to kill my finance. So he knows if he kill my finance, he going to kill everything that's trying to feed off of me. You got me? We need to know how to fight right. So he laying there with over $80,000 that belong to me. And as long as I make sure everybody go to court, I'm supposed to get my money back. So I guess he think I'm finna come and be a nigga. Knock down his doors, call the police and do this and do that and, and be niggerish. No. I'm not. Watch this. I have the love of God within me. I love him because he's foolish. Because he playing with the wrong one. He playing with a woman of God. You, if you take that seven eighty thousand dollars that belong to me, Amen. For number one, it ain't going down like that. For number two, I don't fight like a black man. For number three, I'm chill. Cause guess what? I'm with another company, Amen. I'm still making money. God 
already saw around the corner. I could see to the corner. He already knew what was going to happen. He already knew what I was playing with. He already knew I was dealing with the devil. Amen. So God picked me up out of that and sung me somewhere else because he knew the building was going to be on fire. Amen. We got to watch how we fight. So the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to contact the insurance company. I'm going to clear up all my liabilities. I'm going to look to make sure everybody's going to court. I'm going to make sure I have a zero liability. So the money that I put in there, I'm not calling him. He don't want to respond to me. I'm not going to act ignorant. I'm white right now. White and black don't fight the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? White and black don't fight the same. I'm doing my business. I'm not going to let one color affect me with every color. Because everybody stands on their own. But you better learn black folks how white folks fight. They go to school to get education. They go to college to get education. They fight with the law. They don't fight with their hands. They don't fight with guns. I'm chill. I'm going to take care of my business on this end. I'm going to make sure my stuff is done. I ain't got to call. I ain't got to fight. I'm rich. I may have $2 in the bank or whatever's up in there. I'm not going to let seventy dollars or $80,000 Send me to hell because I'm rich and God is going to bless me. God is going to give me everything that I need. Everything I need. Bondsmen, be careful. Be careful who you choose to be under. You know, I had a contract with this man in Alexandria. On Johnson Street. Rod was very good to me. He was. As I was very good to him. But you always remember. Tongue. And teeth. Falls out. And your only friend that you have. Is the Lord. So. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice talking to you. Remember, white and black don't fight the same. Do not treat anybody as you don't want them to treat you. Amen? Don't look at somebody color to judge them. Let everybody stand for themselves. Just because one white person did you something wrong doesn't mean the next one is going to do you wrong. Be careful. Pray. Be prayed up. Everybody love each other because we all the same. We all bleed red blood. What is it? Blue. Okay? So I just want y'all to know, everybody don't fight the same. Gear up. Get educated. Thank you for visiting. Tammy Sofa Love you.